Hey everybody! Sorry, I was running a little bit late. Um, as usual, I, I spend a few hours before this um, playing around and trying to come up with the best things to show you. And as usual, um, I tried, I don't know about as usual, Some usually actually I have better luck. This time I tried like three or four different things and I wasn't happy with most of them. So um, I do have something to show you though. Um, so I, I hope that more people will join me. Hi, James. Um, I, I have, uh, this is toward the end of our catalog and I have some things to show everybody, um, that are going to be discontinued soon. So I was trying, one of the things is a little challenging at this time of year is to find, um, the, uh, supplies that are still available. I don't want to demonstrate items that you can't get anymore. Uh, it just seems like a tease really, right? So, um, hopefully, um, if you're here, if you could say hi, um, I'd love to know who's here in case I know you. Um, and if I don't, I'd like to get to know you. So, um, yeah, like, like my description says, um, I am doing peony, prize peony. I'm using that for the, I was, I tried like three different stamp sets and, and I came back to that one. This is one of the only ones that I have that are um, being discontinued that I still have uh, or that's still available. Um, I'm also showing this really cool paper. I've been putting this off, but we're um, getting down to the wire here. So um, I, I needed to do it, right? So, hey, Julie. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Mom. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. I know I was running a little late, so um, maybe you guys did something else while you were waiting for me. Um, all right, so let's see. I'm going to turn the camera down. I changed the tabletop, and unfortunately, all this messing around earlier, excuse me, made a big, big mess. It's a big mess. Really bad, actually. Worse than usual. Um, all right, so here we go. Alrighty. Well, I got most of it out of the screen. That's good. <laughs> All right. So I have my my blonde. I kind of think of this as blonde um, tabletop, and hopefully this is a little crooked, but eh, I think it'll be alright. Oh, oh well. Can you see? It's actually, it looks like a shadow on mine, but maybe that's just there. That's a little more straight. Okay. I have, I should show you someday. It's kind of wacky. It's, I made a little post and then I have two garden stakes, a little post with legs that stands up, um, with some scraps of wood and then two garden stakes that are go across my table desk area to a another set of little shelves, if that makes sense. So I have you kind of hanging on here in the middle and it's, um, it's, uh, simple, but, um, you know, and it works. So that's, I guess, really the important part. All right. So first of all, I want to show you, um, a bunch of things that are being discontinued and there are say on sale. So um, I have this whole basket. I'm going to do this, get it off of my, out of my way. So I have this basket here because it's Easter, right? And I, I need to put that away. All right. So we have the very vanilla scallops, which is, was $7 and it's now five sixty. Um, same kind of thing. Flowers for every season. There was 10. Now it's eight. We have playful pets trim combo. We're seven fifty now at six. These are all things I checked a couple of hours ago, and they were available. Bumblebee gingham ribbon, the um, red stitched satin ribbon. These are both on sale right now. Uh, while supplies last. Ooh, I forgot about this one. Ornate floral. I should use that. Um, I love this one. I can't understand why they're getting rid of it. This one that the swirl swirls, um, and then these two greenery ones. I don't know if you can see them. So, um, those are mega on sale. This is a big 
discount on those. So these, um, you're going to want to get them if these are things you've been had your eye on because this is the price to get them. Sequins for everything. This is like 2300 sequins or something like that. It's for six bucks now. In the tropics, um, I inherited this one, but I never was a really big fan of it, but this one's on sale. The stamp set that goes with it is not available anymore. Um, expressions and in ink. That goes with this one. So this paper is leaving, but it is not on sale. But this is, uh, which goes with it, if you are interested. Okay. Th both of them are leaving. Um, this one is not on sale, but it's a good one. I've enjoyed it. All right. So many snowflakes, guys. Um, all right. I demonstrated this one last week. And Word Wishes is a good one. Um, I inherited that one, too. That's quite a deal. Almost 50% off. Um, all right. And then this one I demonstrated recently, too. It's Simply Elegant. It's not on sale, but it is um, uh, not going to be available too much longer. And then, all right, cool. I'm getting things off my desk. Everyday Label Punch is um, a few dollars m m knocked off this one. This one here is not on sale, but it is leaving. And then this one I'm using today, which is tailored tag punch. That's also on sale. All right. Enough of my, my speech. Honestly, I'm not the greatest seller on planet. I, I'm just on, honestly, I want you to get good deals. I mean, I'm the queen of good deals, right? So I want to share my good deals, any good deals I hear about in case you're interested. So if you are interested, by the way, if you are ordering less than $150, use this hostess code. All of your, the smaller orders put together, help me get more supplies to demonstrate. So um, if you do go to my website, that's the easiest way. Um, you can stamp.com and in the right hand, upper right hand corner, there's a thing that says go here for the um, host code and to go to the um, online store. That's probably the easiest way. All right. Now, what we're doing today, this is the paper that we're oops, going to be using. This is, this is really on sale. Look at that. $21. Now it's $12.60. All right. So I had to use it. Um, but it has 12, actually 24, 24 designs, two of each. So here's all these wood ones. Uh, there's this, I don't know, burlap-ish kind of rougher fabric, um, more wood, wood, kind of a tile or concrete, this textile. Here's the paint, another textile, wood, wood, wood. All right. And then on the other side are cool things too. I love, this just feels so smooth. Like it isn't textured, unfortunately, but it looks like it. Um, I don't know. Paint, I guess. Um, more of these tiles. There's a, these are all really cool um, prints, if you can see them. Aren't they beautiful? I love this one. These are just so pretty. I've always been kind of a sucker for marble. All right, and this, another texture. I think I have some fabric just like that. And then this one. It looks like macrame, but it's more of a kind of a tweed, really, in a way. All right, so that's the paper that we're going to be using. All right, now, this process I'm doing is um, kind of piecing it, but what I figured out, this might be the best way. This is my last piece of adhesive sheets, so I need to get some more. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to cut this. Because I really want to have this over the entire, um, the entire thing. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to hold off on that one. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do, um, which I didn't. All right. So I'm going to use any kind of, no, this is, probably would be good to have the same kind. Wait a minute. There we go. There's my brown. All right, so this is, and... 
Okay, so this is these two are the same size. So one of them I'm going to kind of piece everything out on, and then I'm going to transfer it onto this. So I'll put that. I'll end up putting that on there. Now I have all these scraps, and I have this Taylor Tag Punch. All right. So what I'm actually going to do, um, I already made a little pile of some that I have left over from the first example that I made. All right. So what I'm going to do. Is this kind of be, what is that term called? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Where you put wood together. We actually saw a really cool place in Italy. It's known for this inlaid wood pattern. Is that it? Um, it's known, it had some amazing, amazing, amazing art on the wall, on the doors. It was a whole scene, multiple scenes, all using inlaid wood. So they'd like carve it and put it together like a puzzle. This is much easier, this, this kind of puzzle. I did do something like this a couple years ago um, to uh, show you. So here are some of my scraps, but I'm gonna punch some more out. So this is pretty efficient as far as um, punching because there's not a lot of waste when I do this this way. And I'm gonna do this up corner and then I can go in here so I need approximately three of the dark light and medium um, actually there's four different ones here so um, let's see okay well that's gonna be a squeaker here Hmm. I might even be able to use that for something in this whole thing. All right, so here's a, let's see, let's start setting this up. Um, all right, so I actually started in a different corner, but I'm going to, I can put this like, if you want to do it like this, that would be fine. All right, so I can put that, here's this medium one. Maybe I'll put that in there. So generally, I think it's easier to do the full um, full shapes and then kind of fill in. Might need to, might need that. I'm gonna. Almost lost that one. All right. So I'm going to figure this all out here. So let's see. I'll put this one there. Maybe something like this. Now I need a dark one. Ooh. Just missed it. All right. I'll do it here. Let's see, do it off. Hmm. Maybe I should do that there. Hmm. Where did my sample go? Oh. Here's my sample, actually. So, all right. So I'm going to do that there. And then. <laughs> you know, I'm going to just do it the way I had this other one. All right. generally speaking although
they have different amounts of things, so, so. All right, I think I don't need that one, maybe up here. This one, changed it a little bit. I'm gonna have to, what the heck? How on earth did I do this? I think I had more of the one, this brown one. That's probably what it is. All right, so there's that one, and that one, and that one, and this, that can go there, I need another light one for this corner, that'll work, over here. All right, generally, that will be fine. Oh, look, I had one of those, darn. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the places of this. Oh, God. Anyway, I would kind of figure it out first because it's very hard to get off the, um, the sticky stuff. So, all right, so this can be peeled off. All right, so it has adhesive on this side. And this is gonna go here. So not exactly, but good enough, I guess. All right, so now when I take this off, it's gonna be a sticker. So other times, if you wanted to run this through the just the uh, um, stamp and cut or cut and emboss um, machine you could cut things out and then you'd have automatically like a sticker so but this time I'm gonna this is great for when you just have to have adhesive over the entire background um, which is I've done kind of quilting kind of things and um, all sorts of other very cool backgrounds to do but that's oh come on there we go Okay, so now I'm going to have this whole thing sticky. So, um, all right, so I'm going to start laying it. Okay. And then basically I'm butting this up against the line there and then laying down. Okay. So it's going to interlock very well. But before you put it down, just make sure it all fits in. And that goes really fast, actually. See that? So you could do this with lots of different colors. If you don't have wood, you could do this with um, any kind of patterns. This would look really cool. Okay, 
couple places. It looks like I'm going to need something. I'm going to put this here. No, that's not the right size. Maybe. Nope, I'm going to have to do some more cutting. So, um, here's a little scrap. I'm sure we can get something out of. Hmm. Where would I want to put that? Here? do that right. Crap. Oops. Sorry. I'm just going to use this one. Okay. And then let's put this here. I don't know. I think maybe this one. Okay, I'm almost there. Oh, look at that. It's just a little hair short. Let's see. A couple more. Almost. Let's do this. So, this is the time consuming part, obviously. Whoops, this part of the card, I should say. So there's not a whole lot of sticky there. All right, so now that I've got this, all right, now I can cut this side. Now I have barely any edge to this one when I put it on my card. I kind of did that on purpose. However, that one little edge that I left by accident kind of um But it's not hard. This wasn't hard. And if you don't have that adhesive, I mean, yes, it's easier, but you could completely coat, you know, with tape or um, some other kind of adhesive. I mean, you can, like do lines of it that are really close. So, all right, so here, let's see a couple of these I could do for a different one. I'm gonna dump the rest in the trash. All right, so, um, now I can use this one for the next one, next card. Oh, like that. So, here's my white card back. All right, so I wanted to do something like that. All right, now, um, that's the background. And what I want to do is, um, for my focal points, hmm, I thought I had some more white scrap. All right. All right, so here's something. I'm going to stamp with so this is the, oh goodness, here's the prized peony stamp set. All right. There, not so much glare. So, yay, Jill's here too. All right, and thank you for sharing, by the way. I, I know that helps. I, I'm, I got to jump into this Facebook and Instagram and all these other things. My sister's like, it doesn't take any time to get on Instagram because I keep putting that off. 
And she's like, why are you putting that off? But honestly, I think it's just another rabbit hole to go down and get used to figuring, you know, have to set up an account and I'm going to have to do that at some point. I don't, I'm not on Twitter yet. I don't even know, like I could win a trip to Hawaii if I get on Twitter and, um, for Pokemon go, but the chances of me actually winning that prize kind of slim. So maybe it's not worth it. Anyway, I'm using this stamp right here for, from that set and it's right here. Um, now I found some of these bigger stamps. This isn't even one of the biggest ones, but it's really helpful to have a foam pad underneath it. And so with my foam pad, I have a stamping only side and then I have a piercing side. So this has got little holes in it, but this side should not. And then I'm going to, I have my, um, piece of white. So, um, then I'm using crumb cake and stamp this. And I think I might actually, I'm going to add another one, this little one. Maybe it's too much, I don't know, but all right, maybe, and I will stamp that. We'll see. Maybe I got enough with the one. Ooh, the edges are dark for some reason. All right, so, um, Now, what I want to do is to make this, um, use pale papaya, all right? This is one of the colors that is leaving, all right? And so the best way to get some, I want to use my um, aqua painter. Okay, or uh, water painter. Um, so I bounce it like this. If you don't have a refill, which I don't think I have one of this one, um, you can squish a bunch onto the lid it's just really handy and I don't need this on the pad anymore, but then here's my tip for this. So I am doing watercolor on water salt or this is also water soluble. All right. So some of this beige is going to mix with that, but for the most part, it's already down. And what I want to do is this is kind of a feature on the, the water painter too. Um, because the next card is going to do something similar, but not the same. All right. So I'm going to pick up some, now what I'm going to do is put the concentrated amount on the darkest part of the petal. And then it's almost like when you wipe it off to get to clean it for the next thing, it's almost like that. So here I'm going to scoop some up and then, um, here's a petal. So I'm going to put it in the darkest part and then I'm just going to like clean my brush. All right. And if it goes on to the next one, so be it. Okay. So I'm going to pull up some of the darker and I'm going to put that on where the darker part is. And then just until you run out. Okay. So put it on the darker part and then let it run out. Okay. So that's, it's, um, it may blend a little bit, with the one before it, but I'm going to go back and touch it up after it's a little more dried. So if you, t you know, break it down into sort of like one petal at a time and you can turn your, um, your design. I'm actually not going on to the next, um, if you can leave a little edge of white, that would be cool. I might actually go all the way around the outside and then come back. That seemed like a good plan because then when I get back to the beginning, hopefully it'll be a little bit drier. So, um, yeah, the new in colors are coming. They're um, really pretty. I am going to miss a number of the these colors. The, you know, we have in colors that last for two years, and so these are 
um, this color and um, four other colors are going to be discontinued. Everything that's in these colors is going to be gone, which it almost doesn't seem like enough time, but uh, you know, out with the old in with the new. So the new ones are really pretty. I, I like them. They're um, bright. So if you are like, if you like bright, you're going to be happy with these. Um, I hope I'm still in the picture. Yeah. Okay. So let's get some more. Looking really good, doesn't it? All right. Get some more. So now I'm going to go kind of in a little bit and maybe catch this one. Actually, getting a little juicy here. Some of these that would be lighter, you can put a little less concentrated. Okay, now I want to put some more in here, and I'm going to put some more in certain places, like there. Maybe even go back to a few places. Um, what they say about watercolors is you're, you layer. So if... Um, you're not happy or if you want to change the color slightly this would be since it's very translucent you can um, easily go over it once it's dry um, with a another color and it changes the color slightly some um, one thing you could do instead of mixing the colors all right so I'm getting a little nitpicky here um, All right, and then, gosh. Let's get some more. So, so how about that snow, huh? Can you believe it? That's, it's April. James sent me a text today. He's like, this is April. Why do we have snow? Well, his was much more clever than what I just said, but um, the um, it's the gist of it. So, in Northeast Ohio, I don't know where you are. So most of you are from Northeast Ohio that are on right now, anyway. But um, if you are from somewhere else, just so you know, we had snow in April, late almost late April. So not completely unheard of, but definitely not fun. So. All right, so can't tell me I can't talk and paint at the same time. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do these leaves, even though they're not her leaves, not. All right, so um, as I clean, I usually take this and just wipe it off till it runs clear. So that's kind of what I was doing there. All right, so now I need to run these through and cut them out. And that won't, the peony dies are half off right now while they last. So um, if this whole bundle basically, not a, I don't believe it's being marketed as a bundle at the moment, but these two do coordinate. So, and darn it, I was going to get the card out that I, I have a couple cards where these all fit together. It's like a three-dimensional flower. It's really cool. So, all right. Um, here's my mini. It should fit. Um, and then where's the other one? Hmm. 
well. All right, there's the big one. Oh, here it is. Okay. I don't know if these are both going to fit on the same one. Maybe. The same run through. If I'm careful, I might be able to do this. All right. Hmm. Of course, that's where it is. All right, and then I'm going to put this other one on top of it. And then put this through. My desktop moves on top of everything else. So I don't have a good grip. It does not help. So I apologize for this. A little delay here. Kind of close. Alright, so then I did another one over here. Oh, and I wanted to add this a little bit darker here in the middle. So I'm going to add more of that um, crumb cake. Kind of to get some dark in there. Maybe I'll make the leaves browner. Alright. All right, so now I'll put this over here and probably overkill here. So I want to put um, some words there and I have some of this and black, although brown would work too. So my thoughts are with you. Um, I don't even know if that's, that, that'll work. That was going to be for the next card. I just remember that. Oh, well. So, we could, I don't know if we'll need the, both of these. We could just do... And then I have this um, is being discontinued, and this is a really good deal. So I thought, well, maybe we can get that on here and then put this on top of it. Oh, that's pretty, right like that. All right, so... Or we can make it like a belt. Um, I'm going to put that a little lower. Okay, so probably the best way to do this is to cut this a little bit bigger, put some adhesive on both back here. Not where I wanted it. All right, so this is going to go down here. Hmm. All right, then I'm going to put adhesive 
and go to town on this. Um, if you can and raise it up, that might be nice, but I think I'm going to get this, at least all the edges really well. All right. Ooh. All right, that's going to go right here. There's going to be a sixteenth of an inch edge, and that is going to kind of mimic the edge that's on this. Okay, so that was kind of the thought on that. All right, so these are going to go something like that. I think two is good, especially with one being smaller than the other. All right, and one thing you could do if you wanted to, you could, they did this with one of my other ones where I gave this a little edge too. Um, probably don't need to. All right. And I wonder if we did this. That might be nice. All right, so all it is is a little piece, and then you can just tie a knot. And then that can become a movable bow, which is kind of cool, because then you can adjust it as needed. And you can trim that down. And then let's raise that up and put these down. Up, down, up, down. Mm. And the edges are curling up a little bit, so it's sort of got some... And then let's put some dimensionals on this. Yep, I knew they were here. Just like I always know things. Haven't lost anything in the um, Bermuda Triangle of my desk yet today. Got pretty close a couple times, but um, all right. So far, hopefully, I'm still staying in the camera here, too. All right. So it's sort of simple, but not really. <laughs> um, hopefully, you like that. So, Oh, good, Nancy. I'm glad you like the mini, the mini stamp book. That's this that she's talking about, because she got one of those. Oh, that's neat. Whoever's doing that with the hearts? I never saw that. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of a baby with the whole um, social media. Just getting started. Not, not an expert yet. All right, so that's one card. And then the other card, I wanted to take advantage of some of the blues. Um, they were so pretty. I'm going to use this one. What time are we? Oh, we're getting close to the end. So this, that one took a long time, but what I'm gonna, this one will be easier. All right, so I'm using this one that looks kind of like kitchen tile and this one that looks like text or um, textile that's definitely kind of a twill um, by the way fun fact twill is like when you like when I, I took a weaving class in college and it's basically like you know how we over under over under I don't know if twill is really the word this is sort of fancy um, jeans are actually kind of a twill where you go over two under one over two under one um, so, well, what I thought I'd do is just put some, this is a three inch square, this is three and three fourths. I just wanted to have two different spaces that were very different. This is what I learned in graphic design school. See how this is a different shape. These are all different shapes. Those, the most interesting kinds of designs tend to have a lot of things for people to look at, but not enough that's going to like distract too much. All right. So I'm going to actually put those, um, there's there's some things that I'm breaking here. I'm not letting things breathe really, but um, this is a different shape than this, and this is a different shape than this. So, you know, you can't have everything, I guess. Um, I like the back of this one too. All right, so unfortunately, I wish this matched a little better, but I felt like this was a little bit lighter blue in here. Um, so I, 
use that to um, the thing that I'm doing the words on. I'm going to use the um, one of the other colors that's leaving, actually. All right, so I'm going to put that right here. How did I put that? Maybe a little lower. All right. Okay, now, um, I actually, I'm going to save time. I already punched this out, or die cut this out. I stamped it with navy blue, or night of navy, okay? Now I'm going to use this aqua painter, and I've cut this up. So all I did, this is simply um, night of navy, all right? But it's water-based dye ink. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so what you can do, and this is like, um, I don't know if they... I guess they had them when I was a kid. Um, I don't think they're that popular, but basically there's some kind of dye or ink on your these coloring book kind of things, and then you just have to take water, paint with water, which is literally what we're doing here. So places where there was there's water, um, I'm blending it. I'm just picking up some of that ink, getting it wet, and dragging it over this other space. Okay, if you want to, like I demonstrated before with the other, if it's not dark enough for you, you can always add more. That way I, I just showed you with that um, pale papaya flower. But this will do it too. Um, and this I stamped a little while ago. So if you this was super fresh ink, this would probably um, be blending even better. So, But this is a really quick way of watercoloring something. Kind of just blurring it a little. So, let's see. I'll come back and do some of that. Just make sure that you don't, um, you keep the water on your image because if you sort of like going out of the lines, you know, um, the paint doesn't know any better. It's just following the water. So not the end of the world if you do though. It's just if you want. Oh, see, like there, I got out of the lines. Oops. Um, I think I'll make this all blue. But I think I might actually come in and do a little more on these leaves the more I look at it. Finish this little. So this is um, great for these uh, distinctive. Um, the uh, it's called dis ink tiv. Um, it's the Stampin' Up's kind of uh, new patent pending stamps. It's relatively new. Um, basically, it's like has gradients on it instead of just solid shapes to stamp. You have more of um, some lights and darks to work with. So, well, that's pretty. I think, though, maybe I could pull in some of those. Maybe a dark gray. To pull in that a little bit. All right, let's just. Oop, forgot this petal. Or not petal, leaf. So then you can tell this is a little different from the flower. Have you seen fabric like this that has like blue flowers and then brown or, you know, some kind of not green necessarily um, leaves? I just got a shirt. I was kind of surprised. I thought it was more, the colors were a little different, but, ooh, I got a little too much there. So... 
All right. Okay, let's get rid of some of that. All right, so here I have my blue, whoops, peony. I guess peonies tend to be pinks and oranges and stuff like that, but look how pretty that ended up. And that really didn't take that much, and you don't have to be a fantastic artist to do that, because the art was done. You just got to stamp it. All right, um, then, well, we're running out of time, so what I'm going to do, I actually had already stamped this and cut it, so this was going to go right here. All right, so I think um, that could be popped up. This could even be popped up. Yeah, and then let's see, what non-paper should we do? Some embellishments. I'm going to use big, big ones on this one. Well, some of it, just to do, speed it up. Let's try to get this done by nine. You know, it took me so long for that first card. It's one of those special cards, right? Special people cards. And I know I'm doing a terrible job with this still. So. Ugh. But it's not as bad as what Lynn would do, right? So or messy. Not bad. It's not bad at all. But alrighty. So let's see. If oh, and then I wanted to put something here. So I could do in each corner. So I am subbing tomorrow. So I'm going to have to get to bed early. Oh, I got, I was up really late with the taxes yesterday. Oh, so glad that's done. I do not like taxes. It's very stressful. All right, so that's pretty much that. And then, um, what do you think? You're just, this is a, you know, great fallback here. I could just go here. Yep. That's, I'm calling it. All right. So let's stick that down. All right. Well, I had a lot to show you all the different things that are on sale right now, which you should take advantage of if they, if you were interested in them while they last, because a lot, I was really surprised. There was a lot of stamp sets in particular that were gone. Um, so let's see. I want this to go, do you see how this like bump, 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 so I want that a little bit different. All right. Yeah, you know what, I'll just put the whole thing higher. Okay, and then this will go. Blue dot. Glue dots um, disappeared. So pretend. I know they're here somewhere. I don't even remember using them. Oh, I found them. Here we go. And then here. So, oh, um, I am going to be posting um, a mystery card clue probably tomorrow, maybe tonight, if I can. Um, that is going to be for Monday. So mark your calendars, set your alarms, whatever. Um, that is going to be um, hopefully a fun one. And um, I'm also got a whole bunch of ideas for posts, so I just need to get on and do it. 
and post it. Um, but and I, now that I have my taxes out of the way, hopefully I can do that. It's always something, isn't it? Right. So, um, all right. So here are my two uh, cards for tonight. Very different and yet a lot similar because there's not a lot of color. It's a different color. I didn't use black ink for like we always do. Um, I wanted to do a little bit, you know, a little different. So some other options, some techniques to show you. And that's what my job is to show you. So some alternatives, some ideas get your creative juices flowing. So good. I'm th thank you. I, I'm glad you like them. Um, all right. Well, I'm tired. You're probably tired too. So have a good night and, uh, hopefully I'll see you on Monday. Um, the mystery card you get to do in case you're not familiar with it. Anybody who's watching later, those are cards. You can use your own supplies. Um, I give you a clue that's basically some kind of, um, specific sizes of paper and kind like but for the most part it's your your design it's my design your card all right and you can do it however you want and i'd love to see the variety it's so cool to see um what everybody decides to do with some basic um basic i don't want to say limitations but um basic plan i guess um all right. Have a great night. Thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you again next week, Tuesday, if not Monday. All right. And, and take care of the advantage or take advantage of the sale. Like I said, I've said that a lot. All right. Thanks. Have a night. Good night. Bye.